this contains an uh, three parameters three units that is one it is a uh, power supply unit another one it is a uh, relay unit and then it is a controller unit and it is a three sensor units now first in the robot deals with the first it's known as temperature sensor this is the temperature sensor which is known as LM35 it is given to the controller it is given to the uh, ADC amplifier ADC 808 uh, to convert the signal into the digital signal and it is given to the controller which is a 89SY2 microcontroller and then it is uh, connected to the relay uh, this first relay R1 and it is connected to the fan this fan when this temperature goes uh, normally above 40, uh, 35 degrees Celsius it automatically uh, switches on the fan and rotates the fan up to uh, up to the 35 degrees celsius when it comes below 35 degrees celsius it automatically uh, stops the fan and the vehicle uh, comes to rotate at this time the when the temperature uh, comes less than 35 degrees celsius um, that uh, vehicle starts uh, the vehicle will start continue uh, the vehicle and then next one is it is a light sensor that is known as ldr this LDR is used to uh, maintain the intensity of the greenhouse environment by using LDR. Here uh, we are we are using an uh, light strip. Normally the light strip will be switched on. It will be shown in this uh, in this robot. And then uh, if the if the intensity of light is high during uh, uh, daytime, it will automatically switches off this lights. Uh, light strip which is uh, connected this is just a model for this robot it can be implemented by providing a larger lights and then third uh, one is a smoke sensor which is known as mq3 this sensor detects any gas or any smoke which is present inside uh, which is present inside the greenhouse environment this uh, when the, whenever the gas which is detected inside the uh, greenhouse environment it automatically detects and then it gives uh, an, a buzzer sound from the buzzer alarm which is connected here and then this robot is an autonomous roving robot so that we are using an IR sensor for detecting an obstacle in front of the robot if any obstacle is detected in front of the robot it automatically stops the vehicle and turns uh, and turns round and uh, it continues uh, traveling by continues roving in the greenhouse environment now we can show the demo for this project let's see it This is the temperature sensor LM35. When the temperature is increased above 35 degrees Celsius, it automatically uh, stops the vehicle and then the fan uh, which is situated here will be start rotating. Now it is demo. This LDR light dependent test. Uh, if the intensity of the light is high, it automatically detects uh, the light strip uh, which is uh, present here. Normally, it will be switched on uh, during the night time. It will be switched on if uh, the intensity of light is high during the uh, uh, sunlight uh, morning day time. It will automatically uh, ask the uh, light which is kept in the vehicle. Let's see with the demo. Now the intensity of uh, 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 light is high in this LDR so that this light will be kept off.
Next one it is a smoke sensor. This is a smoke sensor MQ3. If the smoke is high, uh, if the smoke or any other gas which is present in the greenhouse gases is detected, it automatically senses the uh, senses the gas which is present inside the greenhouse uh, environment so that If it detects any uh, sound, uh, uh, gas uh, in the uh, sensor, it automatically detects and the buzzer alarm will be turned on. This is a gas which I have kept in my uh, hand. In order to enhance this uh, robot in a future, we are using a uh, uh, ZigBee network so that uh, it can be implemented in future. Uh, this provides a wireless means of communication and sends uh, data to the uh, owner uh, of a greenhouse environment so that it uh, can uh, detect the changes which can be uh, given to the owner of greenhouse environment. In future, it will be a highest, uh, higher value uh, by implementing this project. Thank you.